Good morning. Welcome to the Keto Mom page. My name is Stephanie, and we are going through this book real quick. If you're tuning in, when you are tuning in, as you're tuning in, I would love to know. I was thinking this morning, uh, I have a couple questions for you, kind of pertaining to the book, but as you're tuning in, are you, so you have to vote, are you a morning person or a night owl? Or middle, middle, middle. Are you a middle day person? It actually does have to pertain to the book. So real quick, uh, as you're tuning in, are you a morning person, a night owl, a middle of the day person? What that means is, is I'm asking you that because when is your most productive time? Morning, middle of the day, in the evening. All right. So it's going to be a great day. I'm super excited. My husband comes home from Florida. It's going to be a great day. Uh, if you are brand new, you can post new below. And in the mornings, we like to go, we, me, and if you're watching live, hopefully you like to go through books. This book that we're going through is about time management, uh, management of your energy levels, management of your priorities. So if that's something that you are like, yeah, I need to go through that, that would be the book for you. So I just highlight it for you. I'm going to give you the overview of what the chapters are about. If you're like, I actually need help with my time management, my energy levels, and my priorities, this is a book for you. If you like to go through books or you really truly need help with your mindset, you can go to ketomomsecrets.com. Hey, welcome. Uh, let me see who's all on here that's new. We've got some new people that are saying new. Welcome. I love it. So, if you head to ketomomsecrets.com, you can click on book club, recipes, how to get started, my mom fuel, ketones. We've got lots of different trial packs over there. So there's lots of ways to get started. You can always send me a message. You can scroll through the page for the last seven years. And I've shared recipes and tips and tricks that have helped us along the way. I realized over a year ago that mindset is so important for people when they're dieting. I like to say changing up their lifestyle, but if you don't believe that you can do it, you most likely will never do it. If you work on your mindset, the words that are coming out of your mouth, because your thinking becomes your words, becomes your actions, and those, that is the result. That's the results you're getting. So here's the quick overview of, we are on chapter four, and he basically asks the question. So there's a book that I read here on the page. It's in Keto Mom Secrets. Click on book club. And it's called The Miracle Morning. I I would say my boat, my most productive times are in the morning and, and spurts in the afternoon. I'm most productive in the morning. And then after I'm done with school. So I'm a homeschool mom. We've got four girls and like between two and five o'clock. And so he's walking you through like, when are your most productive times? And oftentimes people are not utilizing or maximizing their most productive times. Anyways, so if you want to, if you want to go through the miracle morning, it's incredible. You can go to ketomomsecrets.com, click on book club. So here is the point of this chapter. He really gives you an overview of like, he goes, you've got like in this, he goes, you've got times in your day where you're in the green zone times you're in the yellow, and times you're in the red. And if you can identify your most productive times, you're going to get more done, more effectively done in your day, during your life, during your day, throughout your life. That was awkward. All right, he says this. He goes, um, your energy waxes and wanes over your waking hours. Time feels different at different times during the day. At some point in your life, you probably slotted yourself into one of these two categories. You were either an early bird or a night owl. He goes, some people actually say they're a middle of the day person, but in general, you're either a early bird or a night owl. Which one are you? I would love to know. Where are you at? I am an early bird. Years ago, when my girls were babies, I was a night owl. They would go to bed and I would stay up as long as I could just to get some stuff done. And I do believe it comes with seasons, right? So um, I'm not going to share all the stories, but I'm going to read to you the overview of how this works. He goes, even though you have 24 equal hours in a day, not all hours feel equal. 
And so he goes, most people have three to five deeply productive hours in your day. And oftentimes people will go, I don't have time. I don't have time to prep my meals. I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have time. It's an excuse used by so many people. But if you can figure out where your maximum time is, like when you're most productive, you will get the most done and be productive. All right. There's the green zone. He goes, the green zone is when your energy is high, your mind is clear, and your focus is sharp. There's the red zone. When your energy is low, you're struggling to pay attention, and you feel it's very difficult to be productive. Then you've got the middle, the yellow zone. When your energy is in the middle, you're neither at your best or at your worst. He goes, the value of the principles of, I'm sorry, uh, leveraging your energy he goes, leverage your energy or lack of it. Don't fight the patterns. He wants you to fuel them. Basically, he's going to walk you through the best times, how to utilize your time, how to get the most out of your day, how to capitalize on your productive times. And so the biggest thing I tell people is, you know, if you know that your energy is low in the evenings, you're going to figure out your priorities and get the stuff done in the morning or vice versa right? You might be going, what does this have to do with fat loss? It really does have to do with fat loss because most people make the excuse that I don't have time to pack a lunch before I leave in the morning. Well, your priorities aren't getting up early enough to pack your lunch, or I don't have time to go to the gym. I don't have time to plan my meals. I don't have time to track my food. I don't have time. It's a common excuse. And so if you can just figure out like, okay, I know my most productive times are in the morning or the afternoon. You will do the things that you prioritize. If, if tracking your food or prepping your meals once a week or going to the gym isn't a priority, then you won't do it anyways. But this is about time management and how to help you on that journey. It's a great book. If it's something that you need, you can go ahead and grab it and, and do all of the activities that it has in the book for you. We're just going to continue to go through. I'm going to give you the highlights of what it's about, and then we'll start a new book. So we have a little ways to go on this book, but if you, I've gone through some of the um, suggestions. If you have a suggestion of a book that you've been seeing, or you're like, man, this would be a great book to go through, let me know. And we go through a book hope, almost every day, unless I don't make time to do my life, <laughs> but that's on me. But in general... I want to help you with your mindset. I want to help you with your food. I want to help you understand little things like water is important and moving your body and making sure that you're taking care of yourself so that you can take care of others. That's the point of getting healthy. Sure, it's great to lose fat loss because you'll feel better. But in general, my hope is that you're doing it so that you can pour into other people so that you are a better mom or dad or boss or employee or athlete, whatever it is, right? You can be the best version of you. So Thank you for tuning in. It's going to be a super great day. I need to get my kids focused and ready. Uh, they're not doing school yet. So we usually try to start school by nine. They need to get focused. So I hope you have a great day. I'm always here to help. You can send me a message. My dog needs me. Um, otherwise, continue to tune into the page. I hope you have an incredible morning and we'll talk to you later.